Hey there, and thanks for watching. So in this video, I'll perform a hypothetical sales comp analysis using a custom GPT we recently built here at ACRE called the STNL sales comp analysis tool. So we open up the GPT and we start by prompting it. You can really say anything, but we'll start with, I need to perform a sales comparison analysis for a single tenant net lease property. Upon prompting the GPT, it asks us to provide it with details about the subject property. And for this hypothetical scenario, we'll use an Amazon property. Here are my inputs. Next, we move to step two, where the GPT asks us to please provide a list of comparable sales with the following key criteria for each comp. It, of course, falls to us to source those comps, whether from our own database or from CoStar, perhaps from broker relationships or from other resources. Uh, since this is a hypothetical scenario, we'll use five hypothetical Amazon comps. And as with all steps, this is important. Uh, we need to confirm whether we're ready to proceed to the next step or whether we want to make changes. This is really our chance to review the output from the GPT at each step and confirm it, it's correct. Uh, it's important to remember that LLMs, large language models, occasionally hallucinate, or in other words, they produce incorrect information and so it's important to review the GPT's outputs to ensure accuracy. Now moving to the next step, step three, this involves making necessary adjustments to the cap rate based on various factors. So what the tool is trained to do is make adjustments to each comp's cap rate based on differing tenant or credit quality, sale date, lease term remaining, building age, location quality, and annual rent. And this process Really, it's meant to sync up the differences between the subject property and each of our comps. The GPT then summarizes the adjusted cap rates and asks us whether we'd like to proceed or make changes. Again, hypothetical scenario, and so let's just go ahead and proceed to the next step. Step four, the GPT assign weights. Uh, these weights uh, really are meant to reflect the relative importance between each comp. In this hypothetical scenario, the GPT first overweights Chicago and then argues that the New York asset has less similarities, at least around market, and underweights the New York asset. I don't necessarily agree. And so what I'm going to do is prompt it to not use weights at all in this case. I'm going to argue that the comps are all sufficiently similar to not merit weighting one comp over another. And with all comps then equally weighted, the GPT calculates a weighted average cap rate for the comp set of 5.14%, which is important for our next step, step five. What the GPT does in step five is it uses that proposed cap rate and it calculates an expected value, in this case, roughly 107 million. And this, again, is done by taking the annual rent, or in other words, NOI, given that this is a triple net asset, and it divides it by that proposed cap rate. And so with that, we go ahead and we agree with the proposed cap rate for the subject property and, and the GPT proceeds to, steps, uh, to step six, where it produces an analysis table for us to review. It also shares some important notes about that analysis. And this table now is going to be used in step seven. And so let's go ahead and confirm. And once we confirm, it proceeds to step seven. And this final step, it produces a deliverable and when I trained the GPT, I trained it to produce a deliverable in a very consistent way. A written summary of the sale comp analysis, generally two or three paragraphs, and then that analysis table, which should contain the sales comps, a row with an average of the comp set, and then the final row is simply the subject property. So we can compare the subject property to the average and to each of the comps. Now, this GPT, as with most GPTs, has access to a Python environment, meaning it can write and execute code. And so in this case, this GPT can produce things like Word docs or PDFs or PowerPoint presentations. I'm gonna give it then a bonus task. I'm, I'm going to ask it to export the deliverable to a Word doc. It does that. It produces a link that when clicked will open a Word document that will contain that summary and that analysis table. And so with that, uh, that's our STNL sales comp analysis tool, custom GPT. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for your time.